Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a huge PR unboxing haul and I cannot wait to dig in and swatch all of this stuff for you guys. But before we get started, because I know this is going to be a super long video, if you're new to my channel, then welcome to my channel. Make sure before you leave, you do not forget to subscribe down below. That way you're notified for future videos from me. I post twice a week, so I post on Sundays and Wednesdays and then I have a couple bonus videos in here and there. But I'm so excited for this video and before we get started, I want to say as always, this is not me trying to brag in any ways. I know that a ton of you guys requested to see this video when I told you I had gotten some more packages in the mail. And also, I just want to say thank you guys for all the like positive feedback that I get on these videos. I always get so nervous and I don't know why. And it just means the world to me that you guys support me showing this stuff and that you're genuinely like excited and as happy as I am to be receiving stuff from companies. So yeah, I just want to put that out there. Thank you guys so much and let's get started. So the very first package actually came from Kevin Aquan and I cannot lie, I've already been like playing with it. So here is the bag that they sent over and it says be open minded when it comes to color and then Kevin Aquan and this is also such a super cute bag as well. So they sent a bunch of their molten lip colors over and here's like what the packaging looks like. It's that really pretty just like sleek gold packaging that Kevin Aquan has and they sent over six different shades. So just to show you guys what the packaging looks like. It has a gold cap and you can see the color of the lip molten and it says Kevin Aquan. So the first shade is called bronze. So there's the color bronze and as you can see it's really pretty and it's a brown. Okay next shade right here is called titanium. A gray lavender purple shift to it and there's that right there titanium. The next one is my favorite and it's rose gold and I'm going to put it for you guys so you can see it. Because they are super, super comfortable. Okay, and then there is rose gold swatched on the hand. All right, next shade is copper. And there's that right there. They have the prettiest shift to them as well. Next shade is called carbon. And it is a dark purple shade. And then the very last one is the color gold. And then there is gold right there. So yeah, these are the Kevin Aquan Molten Lip Colors. And as you can see, they're very pretty. They're very comfortable. Even though they look like a thicker consistency on the hand, on the lips, they feel very smooth and comfortable to wear. And they're not sticky at all. So yeah, there are those swatch. If you do plan on picking one up, my favorites are the copper and then the rose gold. They are like super wearable, neutral tone lip colors and they're really, really pretty. And then the other thing they sent over is the Neo Setting Powder. And when you open it up, it comes in this like beautiful velvety case. <laughs> and here's what the packaging looks like. It's the same exact size as the Neo Bronzer that I recently showed in my recommendations for the Sephora sale. So here's the packaging and it has my fingers all over it because I've been using it. I don't think this being on camera is ever going to do justice to what this looks like in person. It has the prettiest like iridescent shift to it. And so what the whole thing is with this is you have one side that is a matte and then the other side that is like a more shimmer shade and you can mix them together. You can use it as a highlighter. You can set your face with it. But it's really, really pretty and it is very finely milled, which is nice, especially for a setting powder. So here are what these look like. And this one right here is the more highlight shade. I wish you guys could just see it in person because I feel like the camera is just not picking up how gorgeous it is, but it is really, really pretty. So yeah, that's the Neo Setting Powder by Kevin Aquan. And again, thank you so much to Kevin Aquan Beauty for sending these over. Okay, next package is actually something that Smashbox sent over. Enjoy your new lippies and primers. So they first sent over their Photo Finish Primer Oil and I am so excited about trying this. I've never tried it out before and I've been using the primer the water actually on clients here lately and I've really been liking it. So here's what the packaging looks like and it's just a prominent oil and I know everybody is going to comment on the way I say oil because that's how we say it down here in the south but I think this is going to work really well for me especially because I've been so dry lately so hopefully this will give me some hydration while priming my skin as well. Okay, the next primer they sent over is Photo Finish Foundation Primer. I've used this before and absolutely love it. Okay, so they also sent over a couple lipsticks and I ended up purchasing a few as well because I've heard so many awesome things about their Be Legendary liquid lipsticks. So they sent me the Always On Liquid Lipsticks and then the Be Legendary Lipstick. So I'll swatch these for you guys. So they set over the shade Spectacle. Ooh, this is like a really, really pretty coral shade. These are so creamy. I've never tried these lipsticks before, but oh my gosh, 
that is going to be so pretty in the summertime. The next shade is just hit play and you guys that know me know that they could have not picked out a better color because this is just right up my alley. I love these shades. They're so, so pretty. So those are the Beat Legendary lipsticks. So the first one is the shade Out Loud and then there's Out Loud Swatch. This is going to be really pretty, especially in the fall with like a burnt smoky eye. And then the very next one's called Babe Alert. These are so pretty. And I actually did get one of these one time in my Sephora play box and I really, really liked it. So when I went to the Sephora sale, I went and cruised over to the Smashbox section and pretty much the two metal liquid lipsticks were completely sold out. I went to two different Sephora's and they were nowhere to be found. So they are super popular shades. So I actually ended up ordering them myself on Smashbox.com. Okay, so the first one is called Metal Petal. And here's what the packaging looks like. And the formula of these feel really nice. That is the color Metal Petal. Look how that like just bounces off the light. <laughs> so that's Metal Petal. The next one I got is Pink. Honestly, these two mixed together I think would look really pretty in the summertime and then the very last one is called mob squad so yeah here are these three swatch super pretty and also really wearable as well and then they also sent over two of the cover shot palette so the first one is the smoky palette and here's what that looks like and then the next one they sent over is the golden hour one and this one I think is going to be my favorite I cannot wait to try these out in videos so definitely stay tuned because most of this stuff I will be doing like upcoming first impression tutorials. Okay, next package came from Sigma and this is their new titanium brush set. I'm really excited because this set actually comes with a five year warranty. It's supposed to be the first ever waterproof brushes and they are so pretty. So the first thing that I actually noticed as soon as I picked them up is they do feel like a little bit more weighted than the other brushes. They feel like really solid brushes. So just to give you guys a close up, here is what the large powder brush looks like. And compared to the previous powder brush, which they still have in stock, these are just the new ones. So here's like a comparison. They are the same size. But the cool thing about these with them being waterproof is if you guys don't know, whenever you wash your brushes, you're supposed to actually dry them down just to make sure that nothing gets in the ferrule. And these are actually supposed to be completely waterproof. So even if you did get water in them by accident, they're not supposed to like break apart or like loosen up the glue in the ferrule. I remember when I first got into makeup and like Jaclyn Hill's Sigma brush set came out. It was like the first time I ever bought like a brush set and I was so, so excited. And I remember like the first time I ever washed them, I was so terrified that I was going to get the ferrule wet. But yeah, this is a really nice set. You get a total of 12 brushes and it's like everything that you would ever need. You have a powder brush, you have a duo fiber brush, which is really good for just like blending ending out. You're getting a contour brush that you can also use for blush, a foundation brush, and you're also getting a ton of eye brushes. So you have like a shader brush, a blending brush, a concealer brush, a flat eyeshadow brush, eyeliner, brow brush, and a pencil brush. So yeah, a lot of really awesome brushes. I'll be using these in upcoming tutorials. And if you guys ever want to purchase anything from Sigma, I do have a discount code, which I'll leave linked down below. But yeah, super excited. Sigma has been coming out with some really cool stuff here lately, and I'm really excited to try those out. Okay, next package actually came in yesterday, and I showed it to you guys on Snapchat. But this is from Pixie, and I'm really excited. I've heard nothing but good things about their skincare products. I really want to try out their setting sprays because those look really really nice but they basically sent me a three-piece like skincare routine and I love that they also sent over a little card that shows like in which step to do each thing so the first thing they sent over is their glow mud cleanser it says it has 5% glycolic acid and aloe vera so it basically says this gentle yet active cleanser exfoliates to remove dead skin cells and reveal a more radiant and healthy skin. So I cannot wait to try this. I'll keep y'all updated. You guys know I've been like splurging here lately, trying out new skincare. And then they also sent over their Glow Tonic To Go exfoliating toner pads, and you would use the second. And then the very last thing they sent over is the Overnight Glow Serum. And again, thank you to Pixie for sending that over. I have not tried anything yet from their line, so I am like super stoked. Okay, next package came from Natasha Denona, and you guys already know I was screaming whenever this came in. So here's what the box looks like, and it says Natasha Denona. They sent over three of their Foundation X new foundations, and it says Natasha's longtime vision has finally came a reality with Foundation X, a long-lasting and full coverage foundation that doesn't look thick, dry or cakey on the skin. Due to the high levels of elasticity, the foundation doesn't set into fine lines and it gives the skin a demi 
matte to radiant finish. So I've actually been wearing this for the past week and a half and I really love it. What it says right here on the little card they sent is definitely true. Even though it is full coverage, it's very thin. And I'm gonna swatch these for you guys. They sent over three different shades and here's what the bottle looks like. It is a glass bottle, so I really wanna take it on vacation, but I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm so scared. What if it breaks? So here is the first one, and this is the shade 20. The next shade they sent over is the shade 30 right there. And then the very last shade is the shade 42. So again, you have 20, 30, and then 42. And then the other thing that they sent over is their Work and Set Cream Eyeliners. It does come in three different shades. You have a black, a brown, and then a metallic gray. And the gray also has like a kind of blue shift to it. So here's what the packaging looks like. I went ahead and took the cap off. And then there's what the inside looks like. And again, I'm so excited to test this stuff out. You guys know Natasha Nona is like my favorite. I just remember whenever she released her eyeshadow palettes, the first year I'm at, I mean, I literally got there so early. That was like the first booth I hit. I've been looking at them for like six months, and they're the best eyeshadows I've ever, ever used. I have them in my kit. I have them in my personal collection. They're just like my favorite. Okay, next package came from Benefit, and they sent over their California blush and some really cute glasses. And they say, California. You see, I match. <laughs> um, this blush is absolutely gorgeous. Here's what the packaging looks like. And then when you open it up, it of course does come with like a little brush. And then here's what the inside looks like. So you have like a really pretty little sun. And it's a really pretty coral shade. I'll go ahead and swatch it for you guys. Okay, so here is what it looks like on the finger. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. So there it is swatched on the hand. Just a really pretty like bright, pink coral and I just oh I love it and I want to show you guys really quick because I do have it out but the cheap parade palette actually just featured this in like a haul video but you do get the California blush in this little set and the set's $58 where the California blush is $29 so if you are going to splurge and you love benefit as much as I do and you want to try out a couple more items this is a really really good deal so just wanted to put that out there because again it does have the California blush in it okay the next package is from Eva NYC and I've never tried their products they sent over two different things so the first thing they sent is a magic 10 in 1 primer with argan oil and sunflower seed oil and it says 10 benefits and one miracle formula for all hair types but yeah it says shake bottle and lightly mist through damp hair prior to detangling or heat styling so I'll definitely give this a whirl you guys know I don't use a ton of hair products but I really do feel like my hair's been kind of dry lately so hopefully this will help my face has been dry my hair's been dry I don't know what's going on our weather in North Carolina has been crazy then the next thing that they sent over is a purse perfect hair talent and it has argan oil and omegas three six seven and nine it says it tames frizz smooths flyaways and refreshes on the go so this is very interesting and let me see it comes with 10 different packs and here's what the little pack looks like i'll definitely give this a try i don't think typically my hair gets like too frizzy during the day enough for me to like touch up but i will try this out okay next two packages came from elf and one came from elf and octoly so the first package is a bunch of the elf lashes and not going to lie these look really really good so the first one is probably my favorite and these are called maximum drama i need to look it up but i don't think that they're too expensive so these are maximum drama let me see how much they are okay the lashes are four dollars which really is not bad at all the next one is called mod glamour and these are a little bit more natural looking then the next one is called starstruck so here's winged and bold definitely my kind of lash and there is winged and flirty winged and polished and here are the timeless lashes so i'm really excited especially for four dollars these are definitely ones that i think i will be stocking up on after i wear them try them out and like see which ones i like the best and then elf also sent over another package they sent over a bunch of fun things for like festival season and they also sent over another pair of their lashes so these are the winged and bold 
right there. They sent over a black bandana and these are what I am the most excited to swatch. So these are their tinted lip oils and you guys know I love the YSL lip oil but oh my gosh it's so expensive but it's my favorite and I've never really tried any other brands. So this one is in the shade Coral Kiss and here's what the packaging looks like. Oh my gosh this looks really nice. So there's Coral Kiss right there swatched. It reminds me of kind of like a thin lip gloss formula so I will have to actually test these out to give you guys my thoughts. And then the other one's Berry Kiss, and this one is a much darker one. But there's Berry Kiss right there. Next they sent over is their Beautifully Bare Liquid Highlighter. So there's that, and that is the Liquid Highlight. Very pigmented. And then the next two things they sent over is a Long Lasting Eyeshadow and an Eyeliner. I'm going to go ahead and swatch both of these because I'm really interested to see what they look like. I mean, when you push your hand in, it definitely like squishes down like the color pop shadows, but really pretty. And then the eyeliner, I wonder how pigmented this is. So the eyeliner does come with a little eyeliner brush. So I'm going to go ahead and dip this in and see what it looks like. This looks like a very, very vibrant eyeliner. And there that is swatched right there. And then the very last thing they set over is the e.l.f. Contouring Blush and Bronzing Powder. And I'm pretty sure I've heard that this is supposed to be a dupe for Laguna by NARS. I really, really want to do like a dupe video with like high-end products versus drugstore. So here's what the palette looks like. And it's called St. Lucia. These are actually really pigmented. So there are those shades right there. So these look really, really nice. Thank you again to e.l.f. for that package. And let me know if you guys want to see like a drugstore first impressions video because I'll definitely be down to do it for you. All right, next package came from Oxley and Alonka. And this is their absolute powder. Oops, I have this upside down. The absolute powder. <laughs> and these are pretty, I already have tested out one of them. They are just a really light translucent powder and they do have a little bit of like a radiant glow to them. They have two different shades. So the first shade is called Absolute Golden and it's actually a little bit darker. I don't know if you guys can see like in the powder, it looks kind of dark, but whenever you put it on, it doesn't really look that dark. So there's that one swatched. I don't know if you guys can see it. It has more of like a rosy undertone to it for like more darker skin tones. And then the other one is called Absolute Peach or Peache. And this one's more of like a gold tone. And there's that one right there. So as you can see, you have like the darker one for darker skin tones and then the lighter one, but very, very thin and really pretty as well on the skin. All right, next thing is a package from L'Oreal. And this is the like pretty much infallible paints collection. You have some eyeliners, some lipsticks, and I'm going to swatch all this stuff. That way you guys can see it because I know especially when you do pick up drugstore stuff, you can't really swatch it in the drugstore, which makes it hard. All right, so first I'm gonna start with the more wearable shades. These are the infallible paints, and here is what the packaging looks like. Fearless Fuchsia is the first shade. Oh my gosh, these are pigmented. All right, so first shade, Fearless Fuchsia. Okay, next shade is called Nude Star. This one's so pretty. Oh my gosh, I'm really liking these. I'm gonna put one on. I just try on all kind of lip products today. This is my favorite. Oh my gosh, this one's called Spicy Blush. They're so comfortable. They smell so good too. Okay, Wild Rose. And this one's a bright pink, just not as bright as the first one. And this one's Wild Rose. Next one's called Sultry Sangria, and it's a really pretty, like, dark plum. Okay, next one's called DIY Red. Very vibrant, bright red. The next one's called Topless, and it has, like, that really gray undertone. It reminds me a lot of that one shade that came out a long time ago by MAC. It was like last year that everyone was obsessed over and that's topeless so again there are those next shade is called cool coral and it's just a really pretty bright orange then an even oranger color you have orange envy and right there is orange envy all right next shade is violet twist and it's a really bright purple next shade right here on the end is called lilac twist and it's more of a lavender then the next three are pretty bold you have domineering teal and then there is that color swatch right there next shade is called navy spa and it's a dark navy blue and then the very last shade is called bewitching bordeaux and it's like a dark deep plum so there are those swatch the more like colorful colors so i think this collection is really pretty you have 
some very natural colors which is more like probably my style it's more like bold fun colors but overall a really great variety okay next thing they sent over are the infallible eyeliners and these are really pretty colors oh my gosh i cannot wait to play with these i've been obsessed with eyeliners first one is this teal shade right here the next shade you have is vivid aqua and it's like a really pretty baby blue oh electric blue i'm excited about this one oh my gosh so pretty and they definitely look like they dry down matte as well that one is electric blue you have a white party which is just going to be a white eyeliner and you have wild green which is just like a hunter green eyeliner and then the last one is a black eyeliner but these look like they dry down very matte even though i'm like swiping it it's not mud it's not mudging it's not budging and it's not like smearing at all so they dry down super super fast which is nice and they do dry down matte so there are those swatched and again i'm still like scrubbing my hand and nothing's coming off which is really good <laughs> okay the very last things that they sent me were these infallible paints eyeshadow ombres you have two different sides and they do have like a shift of different colors so let's try these out the first one's Cool Ivory. It's just basically like a cream eyeshadow. Really nice. I'm definitely going to have to do a tutorial with drugstore stuff. And it basically says with the eyeshadow paints, it says high impact color meets all day wear with the infallible paint collection. Paint it out loud with the eyeshadow paints. It says layer and customize colors with the cream eyeshadow duos. Yep, so basically these are two different cream eyeshadows but they obviously go together and the first one's cool ivory oh my gosh i'm loving this shade it's so so pretty i love the gold too okay and next one is called sunset fire and it's a really pretty coral okay and then here is sunset fire next one is a green and this is called army camo and it's really pretty even though it's like a green shade not something i would normally wear it still is like the tone of it looks wearable then we have brown sugar so there is brown sugar right there so again, you have Cool Ivory, Sunset Fire, Army Camo, and Brown Sugar. Okay, next one is Mint Detox. This first color looks so unique. Oh my gosh, I love this. Oh, it's so pretty. These are the Mint Detox, and this is the shades right here. Really pretty. They do dry down super fast as well. This is called Nude Fishnet. Let me fix my hair little bit more of like champagne -y shades these would be good too to like put under like a glitter or this nude color right here would be super pretty as an eyeshadow base because it's really like a natural color then the next one we have is jet set blonde these look like some pretty bold shades you have more of just like a white shade here is the yellow shade right there then the next one is called brb blue and these are so fun i'm so glad they sent this package over because actually i'm wearing l'oreal pro glow foundation i have some of their stuff and what i've tried to have liked i really like their mascara and here are those two shades right here. Next one is called Mistress Noir, and it's more of like black shades. So you have a black and a gray, which would be really good for a smoky eye. There are those right there. Start a new row. And you know what? Like since these have dried, these are actually like kind of harder to get off. Like I'm scrubbing. <laughs> so at least, you know, they have pretty long lasting power. Especially if I haven't had them on that long and it's like already hard for me to get off scrubbing them with a makeup wipe. Alright, last ones we have Navy Yard, which you have a pink and a navy. Okay, there are those shades right there. And then you have Aqua Aurora, I believe is what it says. Oh, that peach is really pretty. And here are those right there. And then the last one is a violet color and this is called Shady Violet. And then there is Shady Violet right there. So very pretty colors and honestly like if I had to suggest two for you guys to pick up I really like the cool ivory and then the nude fishnet because I think they're super wearable and of course you can put other shades on top of them since they're lighter shades so really really like these I mean I like all of them I think that they are going to be really fun to play with color as well okay and then the very last thing that L'Oreal sent over is the infallible paint blush palette and here's what it looks like okay so here are the shades right here and here are those four shades swatched. Okay, and then here are these swatched on the hand. I actually had to do two swatches. Um, I think one because I just wiped my hand with a makeup remover and then also two, I think these colors are gonna be really buildable, which is good if you want like a light flush of color or you wanna build it up. 
So there are those shades right there. And again, that package was from L'Oreal. So thank you so much to L'Oreal. And I love this box. I'm gonna like keep it forever because I think it's so cute. And yeah, that is going to wrap up this PR unboxing haul. Give this video a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it. I always have fun swatching stuff for you guys and I'm excited to dive into some tutorials. So let me know what you want to see me test out, review, do first impressions of down below. And as always, I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.